Hello, my name is Peter Hudson and I'm a professor at Penn State University and I'm Director of Conservation at Paws Trails. Today I want to talk a bit about conservation and I want to do this in relation to lions. I want to talk about two aspects, their ecology and their conservation. Last year I was fortunate enough to go with Paws Trails to visit the Masai Mara, which is at the course the top end of the Serengeti. And there I was very fortunate to be able to spend time watching this wonderful pride of lions and watching them catch, uh, particularly young warthogs, and then bring those back to their young. You see, the whole dynamics of the ecology of Serengeti is driven by the rain, and this is, drives the movement of the wildebeest population. And when the wildebeest are there in the fall period, so there's lots of food for the lions to feed on. But as the rains move, so the wildebeest leave, and they go further south, where in the following February, they drop their young on the short plains at the very southern end of the Serengeti. At the time of year I went, the wildebeest had moved off. And the lion population has to survive on the remaining species. And one very important species for them is the warthog. These warthogs produce multiple babies, large litters of babies that the lions can then feed on. And they prov provide a good bite to be able to return and feed those to their young. So we had some very good fun photographing, watching them hunt, watching them socialise and watching them return. It was, a, it was a truly wonderful event and I look forward to going back as soon as possible. The other aspect I want to talk about is the conservation issues. So the lion is, um, is considered threatened but it is considered vulnerable. For the IUCN to actually identify it as vulnerable, the population has to fall by 50% over three generations. And in fact, it's only fallen by 43%. And this is because what they've done is they've looked at the decline of the lion throughout its range. So if you go to places like West Africa, the population is declining at well over 60% over this period. While further south, in southern Africa, the population is increasing. This is the problem of using averages. If you average across, you get an estimate which doesn't really tell you what's going on. And the population in West Africa is very different from that in East and Southern Africa. They're genetically different and we can't just move lions over there. The real underlying issue throughout all of this, of course, is the dramatic loss of habitat. We're seeing a monstrous increase in the size of the population in Africa. It's a burgeoning population. People want more land. They want more access to farmland. And because of that, we see conflict and they're pushing right up against the national parks. So in most parts of the world, the lions have been restricted to uh, the national parks. Those outside those areas are seriously threatened and I wouldn't be surprised if most of those go. South Africa have done very well because they've fenced off many of the areas they're interested in for conservation and wildlife and they manage those populations intensively. And because of that, their populations are doing really well. On the other hand, in parts of East Africa and particularly in West Africa, we're seeing increasing fragmentation where the parks are being separated from each other and lions can't even disperse over the distances they really need to disperse to make sure the population remains healthy. This leads us with some real problems in East Africa. And some of those are also financial. It costs $1,000 per square kilometre per year to be able to run a good healthy lion population. And yet most of the parks have less than $200 per kilometre per year. We have some major issues with lions, and I think it's important that we start to take those into account. But one thing you can do is you can do what I did with Paul's Trails and become an eco-tourist and help generate funds in that part of the world and enjoy yourself watching lions. Thank you.